Hello, I'm Bishop Bill Skillsad, Bishop Emeritus of Spokane. I would like to talk to you today about Worldwide Marriage and Encounter, what that experience means for me personally and what it means for the church and what it might mean for you as a priest and a bishop. For me personally, I was invited to make a encounter in 1973, 1974. A couple and a priest whom I knew very well encouraged me to go. I must say, initially I was a bit nervous, but I did go. And what a powerful transformational experience it was for me. I was paired off with a bishop as a couple, so to speak, and we made that together. He became a lifelong friend and actually became my spiritual director for some 30 years. My first impressions of the movement and of the experience itself, the first expression was the transparency of the presenting couples and the priest. That actually startled me. And remember, this was 1973, 1974, when things were still a bit more formal. And yet, by the same token, their transparency, their joys, their struggles, their honesty about their own lives and their own marriages was really, for me, something very powerful and, and very uh, meaningful. The second thing that struck me in that uh, weekend that I made then some 40 years ago was the relationship between the priest and the couples and in general uh, the priest in relationship to married couples in the movement. The sacrament of marriage and the sacrament of holy orders really dovetail together wonderfully in the life of the church. They're both highly relational documents and I found uh, sacraments, but I found that uh, as well, the support from married couples towards priesthood and vice versa, the support of priests and the movement toward couples was really strong. And for that, I am really very grateful. What did it do for me personally? For me personally, it was an experience of, I think, growth, not only on that initial weekend, but in the some 40 years I've been involved uh, in great part as a presenting priest, but also coming into contact with people in the movement. What a blessing that has been for me, and what a rich experience that has been for me. So from the standpoint of my own personal growth, that, that was, uh, for me, really a, a great gift. Secondly, the experience of the couples of church. They come as people of the church. They talk about church. They talk about sacrament. They talk about involvement in the church. And over the years, I've come to see how Couples who have married, marriage encounter have become very, very involved in, in their local parishes, not to mention, for example, the tremendous generosity and sacrifice and the development of gifts that have supported the movement. So from that standpoint, that's been tremendous. And I think from the, my standpoint, as a shepherd in the church, as a pastor in the church, reminding myself of the words of Pope Francis, who says that we pastors need to smell like the sheep. We need to be with our couples as they journey to their own marriages and in their own marriages, as I journey in my own priesthood. So for that, I think it's a remarkable, remarkable experience of continuing to develop, develop that kind of relationship that's so very important in the church. Very recently, we have received the apostolic exhortation of Pope Francis, the joy of love. It's a marvelous, marvelous document. And we've just begun to integrate that into the church. But so many aspects of that document have been and are integrated into the experience of the weekend in Worldwide Marriage Encounter. So many of them. And this has been going on for, for decades, really, as the movement has striven to support good marriages, to make them better, as they've encouraged couples to live out their sacrament with great joy and honesty, addressing reality as it really is, but realizing that it is a sacrament and it's God's grace that continues to touch all of us. And finally, I should say that for me personally, this has been really a journey of conversion. We hear the expression, marriage is for a day, or wedding is for a day, marriage is for a lifetime. And for me as a priest, ordination is a day, priesthood is for a lifetime. So I continue to live out my sacrament, and you as priests continue to live out your sacrament. We continue to be touched by the Lord. We continue to be touched by the power of the Spirit in our lives and ministry. We also, very importantly, continue to be touched by the couples whom we serve. 
I have found that time and time again in the marriage encounter movement, people who have enriched my lives, the relationships that have developed over these many years, what a grace and blessing that has been for me personally. So I hope that as you think possibly of going on a weekend for Worldwide Marriage Encounter that you would do so. I think you will find it to be a very beneficial, hopefully a very transformational experience as we all together continue to serve the Lord and all of God's people, especially those in marriage and in family life. God bless you and thank you very much.